Today is the day we are shipping this van from the United States to Europe and the entire time we will have an Apple AirTag in it so we can track it and see exactly where it is across the Atlantic. After moving out of our apartment and saying goodbye to our home in Charlotte, North Carolina, we drove seven hours to Baltimore, Maryland to drop off our van at the port. We got in at 1 a.m. We got the car knocked on because we slept in the van, of course. Didn't go to bed at 2, woke up at 6.30. Now she has a Starbucks in hand trying to survive. Oh my gosh, it's the pistachio latte. It's really good. You are so bougie. We're just getting some paperwork from the forwarder, which we're about to meet up with. Hi, I'm Cindy from Pride International. We've been in business for 34 years. We actually do the customer for the exports and the imports and we are Seabridge's agent here in Baltimore. The whole process usually takes less than an hour in the port. Here in my office it takes less than 10 minutes. And I can vouch <laughs> for that because we came in, she already had the documents ready and we were out the door. But I came back up because <laughs> Cindy actually has a funny story. Last night at dinner my daughter and I were talking about these YouTubers that were coming in and she actually follows them on YouTube so she was so excited to find out that I was doing this export. That is so cute. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What's your daughter's name? Kara. Hi Kara. Hey, hey Kara. Before we go to the escort service and put our van on the ship, we have to make sure that it's ready to be shipped. You want to make sure your van looks like it has nothing in it, so we're putting our coffee makers in here so our countertops are clean. We have all this clean and nothing can be like on top of the bed. There's a lot of different requirements that I will link down in the description below. There'll be a document that Seabridge provided us and that way you'll know what to expect when shipping your van to Europe. I told you guys in our last video that it was going to be really hard to pack because we had to not only pack up the apartment, ship that into storage, pack the van, but we also have to pack for our flight tonight at 5 p.m. I just wanna make sure we have enough of our stuff for our trip to New York City. We're gonna be there for 10 days and we're making a video with Get Your Guide, so make sure to look out for that when it comes out. There's some things we didn't even test out before shipping our van. I know we might be idiots, but Europe's a place where we can get things fixed, so hopefully our Starlink on the top of there works, and if it doesn't, I'm gonna be very sad. I'm putting a lot of eggs in one basket with Elon Musk. So now we brought the van to this TWIC agency and they're the ones that escort you into the port. You have to pay that fee. It's right next to the Best Western here in Baltimore. So if you're looking to ship your van, it's a great spot to stay over one night, wake up early in the morning, first come first serve for this place. So get here early at 7 a.m. Hanging in our van, waiting for the escort service to take us into the port. A lot of you are probably asking yourselves, how much does it cost to ship an RV, a van or a vehicle over to Europe all the way from the US? I have the invoice here that I'm gonna go over over in depth, but the final number was $4,400. And I don't think it's that bad because if you're planning on staying in Europe longer than two months, then it's definitely worth it, especially because this is our hotel. This is our Airbnb. We don't have to spend those high prices. We're gonna be over in Europe for one to two years, so it's definitely worth it. Wanna be totally transparent with you guys. The sponsor of this video is Seabridge, and they're the ones that have helped us ship our van over to Europe. They've been amazing, and I cannot recommend them enough because they've been doing this for over 30 years. I will have a link down in the description below for you guys to their website where you can get a quote. This is gonna be a little bit different for everyone because it's based on your vehicle's length, height, and width. So if you have an RV or a bigger vehicle, it's gonna be a little bit more pricey, but it's gonna be around this range. Now let's go over the invoice real quick. The total freight cost was 3,300 euros. Then you need marine insurance. The marine insurance here was 300 euros, and that includes a vehicle up to 50,000 euros. And finally, there's some additional costs here in Baltimore that we'll pay like the forwarder and port charges for $275 and then the escort service that will help us get our van into the port and to the ship for $75. Okay we just activated our air tag it was very easy and then I'm just gonna put it somewhere. All right we're gonna put it right in the pillow. Boop. All right, our van is currently getting tracked. This is where our roads part. I'm gonna head to the airport um, just cause I don't wanna wait outside for Ian for an hour and a half. He's gonna take the van to the port with you guys. Say bye to the van. <gasps> Hopefully it doesn't sink. Bye van. Bye. bye. I'm filing Donnie into the port right now. This is why you pay for an escort service. <laughs> 
definitely getting more and more nervous as we're getting close to the port. I mean, this was an expensive van to purchase, you know, to put it on the ship and we won't see it for another month. We're dropping off March 5th, it ships March 11th, and it shows up in Belgium March 25th to April 1st. Ships are always either ahead of schedule or behind schedule, so that's why they tell you to be really flexible on booking your flights over and stuff like that. At least we have that Apple AirTag to keep me sane a little bit, so I'm gonna keep checking on that. If you're ever gonna ship your van though, make sure to take out any valuables. Do not put your computer, camera gear, anything expensive, because this van is touching so many different hands at the port, in between, on the ship. It's just like an airplane. Would you put something really expensive Expensive in your checked luggage. Probably not. You want to keep that on you at all times. Oh, the van is out of our hands now. We handed over the keys. We parked it in the port and now it's time to get to the airport. I think I'm going to make it. Over the next month, we went home to Cleveland to say goodbye to our families, visited New York City, and finally made it to London to wait for our van. 28 days later, it is time to pick up our van tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying that. I know at the beginning of the video, you saw us put an Apple AirTag inside our van, but it didn't really go according to our plan because I didn't know how these things worked. They have to actually ping off of phones or computers that are signed in to find my iPhone. And because our van was in the middle of the ocean, there was no phones around and really nobody around our van. Thankfully, Seabridge gave us a website called marinetraffic.com where we could track our ship minute by minute along its full journey. Our ship was supposed to depart on March 11th and it didn't end up departing until March 17th. During its voyage, it stopped at three different ports along the way. First, it stopped in Virginia, then Nova Scotia, and finally Germany before its final stop in Antwerp, Belgium. So why are we waiting for our van in London instead of just waiting in Belgium? Well, it all comes down to a thing called the Schengen Zone. The Schengen Zone is the world's largest visa-free zone. Zone. This area consists of 27 European countries that abolish their internal borders for free and unrestricted movement. So what that means for US citizens is that we're able to stay visa free for 90 days within a 180 day period. So our plan is to spend 90 straight days in Schengen zone countries. We're going to start out with Portugal, Spain, France, maybe a little bit of Italy, Switzerland and Croatia. And once those 90 days are up, we have to head out of this zone immediately. So our next plan is to move over to Eastern Europe and visit places like Montenegro, Serbia, Albania, countries that are outside of the Schengen zone. The next day, we took a bus and ferry eight hours from London all the way to Antwerp, Belgium to pick up our van. Going to get the car. So we just got the keys. We have the, uh, the card to go inside the port. And I had to check for damage before I leave the port. So we'll see how this goes. Carl kind of scared us on the way here because he says sometimes the workers like to steal the license plates. They collect them. If you have a license plate from California or New York, they probably won't take it because they see a lot of those. But we have a North Carolina license plate. So now I'm nervous because then we can't take our van. Fingers crossed, guys. Home sweet home it is here oh my gosh everything's perfect license plates are on this is our home in Europe everything looks exactly like we left it I have never been more excited this has to be the craziest thing we've done in our life or maybe ever do in our life we just shipped our van across the Atlantic guys we made it we're out of the port and we are ready to go yeah <laughs> you're up here we come woot, woot. So we went back to the hotel, took our final proper shower. I don't know how true that is because we're hoping to do some campsites that have showers. Packed up the van. I am most excited to like get it organized right now. Starting our journey in Europe, doing some laundry. I feel like we're gonna be doing this a lot. Feels really good to be back with our van. Yeah, it feels so good that it went well. I'm excited. <laughs> I think the worst part of this whole process is your own anxiety about it all. Yeah. Like it's gonna know. be fine. We're starting European van road trip. I think it's crazy though, because we're also starting van life again. I know. Like we haven't lived in a van in over a year. See you guys later. The next video you're gonna see is us making the 20 hour drive down to Portugal. So we'll be going through many different countries to get down there. We'll see you in the next one. Woo! Yeah,